Hey guys, so it's um, around 2 p.m. and I'm about to have my first meal. And it's so funny because I'm not even hungry. And I've noticed that whenever I work out, I don't feel hungry for some reason. I don't know what it is. The hunger comes in waves. I'll feel hungry in the morning, but I'll, it'll subside just a few minutes later. But still important just to eat and to nourish yourself so that you don't end up getting into those binging cycles when you do feel hungry. So that's what I wanted to share with you. I'm going to show you my meal in a minute. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also click the notification bell and share the video so your friends can see also. First meal of the day, two eggs, Nutella, toast, and I'm having coffee today, not tea. Good evening, guys. So I'm having some of the pasta left over from yesterday, you know, that low fat uh, noodles. And I, today I don't have chicken, but I'm having it with this mincemeat. And yeah, I put 25 grams of cheese on top. And uh, I got some spinach from my garden today, but to be honest with you, I didn't feel like having it. And this mincemeat, there were peppers, there's green onions, so I think I'm getting my veggies for the day, so that's it. <music> Wednesday, I had a total of 1,286 calories. I had a surplus of 66 calories remaining. As you can see, my lunch slash breakfast was only 503 calories. And I had a little bit of a sweet tooth that day. So if we go to my snacks, you see that I had my 100 calorie Kit Kat. Well, it wasn't a Kit Kat, but it was a 100 calorie chocolate bar, that PS bar. And then I had 200 calories worth of Lay's. Then later on that day, I had my dinner, which was 483 calories. I did exercise and I logged my exercise for the day, which was 70 minutes on the treadmill. Uh, it looks odd. I know that I recorded that I only burned two calories, but I always I never want to log my calories because I feel like they're gonna tempt me to feel like maybe, like let me show you what I mean. If I go to my fitness pal and I really record the amount of calories that I actually burned, I'll say three, let me say this. I'll say 360, then I'll save it. Immediately, I have 424 surplus calories. So I never want to fool myself or rather tempt myself to end up eating because, eating more rather, because I, I burned 360 calories. So I just say two calories, just, you, you understand. Good afternoon, guys. So I'm having something a little bit different today for breakfast. An egg sandwich, scrambled eggs with 25 grams of cheese. It's so delicious. And my usual coffee. Hey guys, my flash is not working right, but this is oven baked French fries with chicken. I've already kind of started nibbling on it and some veggies. That's my dinner. On Thursday, I ate a total of 1,370 calories. Uh, I didn't have a surplus of calories. I actually was over by 20 calories. But at the end of the day, like close to midnight, I did log in my exercise. That's where the, ex the surplus of 340 calories is coming from. 
But my lunch slash breakfast, my first meal of the day was 697 calories. And then, did I snack in between? No, I had my dinner, which was 573 calories. I also had my uh, 100 uh, calorie snack. And yeah, I, I, I was over by 20 calories. And then later on that night, when I was done with my eating and everything, I logged my exercise where I burned 360 calories and I ended up having a surplus of 340 calories. Hey there guys, uh, how are you doing? Hope you're doing good. Um, yeah, today, had a good day. I worked out for about 70 minutes. Um, 45 minutes I did on brisk walking. Like I was walking pretty fast. And then I switched off, not switched off, but I kind of, I, 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 I didn't switch it off, but I slowed down, and the rest of the time, I was on an incline of eight, and I was just walking, you know, just to catch my breath, and today I decided to do something different for my first meal of the day, my breakfast, and I want to show you something different so you know what you can do with a few calories if you're on a low deficit like I am, like 1350 calories or 1200 calories. So, um, yeah, hopefully you like it and you see something different. All right, loves. Hey, guys. So today I decided to have my usual coffee. As you know, I love this coffee. And I made an egg sandwich with some mayo and some cheese. And then I'm having it with some baby spinach from my garden. So that's it. Good evening guys, look at my evening meal. Let me just wipe this man. Can't let me be great. This is spaghetti, some ground beef, and um, some cheese. 25 grams of cheese or a quarter cup, but I would recommend you weigh it. This is 100 grams of spaghetti guys. Now, yesterday, guys, I have to be really honest with you. I struggled a lot. I really struggled. You see, I was over by 62 calories, and I came close to even going over by even um, 100 more calories yesterday. And last night, I just had a sweet tooth. I wanted to eat another chocolate bar, but then I had some tea, and that kind of soothed me. I was just looking for something to soothe me. So when I started my first meal, I had 604 calories, which is actually quite good. And then I had the urge to snack in between before my dinner. So I had 100 calories of Lay's, and then I had half a Kit Kat, and I still wanted more. For some reason, I still wanted more. And I realized it was in my mind, but I did not have it. But I did struggle. I had my dinner, which was 608 calories. And thank God I, you know, I was victorious, but I really did struggle, so I went over by 62. My exercise, I forgot to log my exercise, but I did 70 minutes again yesterday, so I did have a surplus of calories. Well, as usual, I will show you where I am regarding my goals. As you remember, um, when I started, I was 97 kg. That was last year when I gave birth. Now, I am at 82.7. And if you remember last week, I was 83.3, uh, or it was 83.1, but I had not reached the 82s yet. And now it is the end of the week, and I'm still at 82.7, well, the end of the working week. Uh, but as we saw from last week, my weight normally drops around Monday, Tuesday. So I'm expecting to drop into the lower 82s, maybe 82.3. 382.4 somewhere there 
because my goal is to lose 0.25 kg per week. And my activity level says not very active, but if you see down here, my goals are to do 250 minutes of uh, working out every week. And this week I actually did 280 because I did four sessions of 70 minutes and probably a little bit more than that. And the workouts a week, I didn't do six, so I need to lower that down to four because that's um, how I do my workout. And uh, my activity level, I record it always at not very active because I don't want it to tune my calories to make them, you know, if I say active, it's going to allow me to eat more calories. So I'm just trying to trick the app a little bit. But yeah, that's where I am. 